Mr. Wright here. This film is a video walkthrough of me doing some IGCSE questions on parallel lines and perpendicular lines. This is set one. I think there are six questions in this set and you can download the questions by hitting the link in the description. I hope you find the film useful. Do hit like, do ask me any questions in the comments. And if you do find this film useful and you'd like to see more, then hit subscribe. Right, let's get on with the maths. Question one, write down the equation of a line parallel to y equals 3x plus 2. Now the gradient of y equals 3x plus 2 is 3. And so if I need to write down the equation of a line that's parallel to that, it doesn't matter which line it is, as long as it has the same gradient. So I'm going to choose y equals 3x plus 2. 1, because that also has a gradient of 3. You could write y equals 3x plus or minus any number you liked. Question 2. Write down the equation of the line parallel to this line, which passes through that point. Right, well, if it's parallel to this line, this line has a gradient of a half, and the equation of the line which I need to find will also have a gradient of a half, won't it? And it passes through the point 0, 2. Let's just sketch that for a moment. 0, 2. Aha, look at that. The y-intercept is 2. So my line must be y equals a half x, because it's got a gradient of a half, plus 2, because its y-intercept is 2. Number 3. Write down the equation of a line parallel, so it's going to have the same gradient as y equals minus x plus 1, which passes through that point. Well, in this case, the gradient of this line is minus 1, so the gradient of the line that I need to write down the equation for will also be minus 1. And the line passes through the point 0, minus 4, so it's a y-intercept of minus 4. So my line's going to be y equals minus x, minus 1 times x, because the gradient's minus 1, minus 4. Okay, number 4. Write down the equation of a line perpendicular to this line. Now, this line has a gradient of 3. So my line, the line perpendicular to that, will need to have a gradient of 1 over 3 minus, minus a third, the negative reciprocal of 3. Now, it doesn't specify anything else about the line. So I can write down the equation of any line I like as long as it has a gradient of minus a third. So perhaps y equals minus a third plus 2 would be OK. You could write y equals minus a third x plus or minus anything it would be absolutely correct. Right, number five, write down the equation of a line perpendicular to this line, which passes through that point. Well, let's have a look. The gradient of the line I'm given here is a half, so the gradient of my line will be the negative reciprocal of a half minus two, and I know that my line has to pass through the point zero, seven, which is this point here, 0 along 7 up. Look at that, the y-intercept is 7. So my line has a gradient of minus 2 and a y-intercept of 7. So it must be y equals minus 2x plus 7. Right, last one for now. Write down the equation of the line perpendicular to this line, which passes through that Point. Right, let's have a look. Well, the gradient of this line is minus 3 over 2. So the gradient of the line we need to find is the negative reciprocal of minus 3 over 2. So it's 2 thirds. And the line passes through the point 0 minus 8. So it goes through that point there. So the y-intercept is minus 8. So c equals minus 8. So my line is y equals 2 thirds of x minus 8. Eight. And that is questions one to six done. In the next film, we'll continue. 
That's the end of this film. If you want to progress further in this topic, continue down the playlist and you will find more video walkthrough films to use. If you found the new film useful, then go on, press like, give me some positive feedback. See you in the next film.